Hello guys, this is Paul McCorder with TopTechBoy.com and today we are here with lesson number 15 on learning how to use the Raspberry Pi and specifically we're learning how to operate the Raspberry Pi from the command line in Linux. Okay, What we're going to do today is we are going to learn how to find things. <clears throat> when you really get going with your Raspberry Pi, just like in Windows, you can end up with lots of folders and folders and folders and you forget where things are. So how do you find things? You find things by using the find command. In order to find the uh, find things, we're going to have to kind of create some files. And so just work with me to create some files. Understand also this is good review from the things we were doing in the earlier lessons. First of all, where are we? Will we do PW? We bring our window alive. We do PWD, that shows us where we are. I'm in slash home slash pi. That means you go to the root. Inside root, there's a folder called home. Inside folder, there's a, a folder called home. Inside of that, there's a folder called pi because I am user pi. Because that was the default, I logged in as pi password raspberry. Okay, which is the standard when you boot up the Raspberry Pi. <clears throat> okay, we're going to need some more files to work with. So I'm going to create two directories. How do I create a directory? What? Yes, mkdir. All right, mkdir, I'm going to say my python, okay, and then I'll say mkdir my text. So I'm going to have a uh, text. <coughs> now ls I have a folder for Python files and I have a folder for text files. Just to make the paths easier, I'm going to go to change directory my Python <coughs> ls. There's nothing in there because I just created it. Now what I want to do is I want to create a bunch of different files and the easiest way to create a file is to just create an empty file. You know, if I did sudo nano, if I did nano, I could create a file and edit it, but I want to go faster than that. So I'm just going to create files you create an empty file with the what command? The what command? The touch command. <clears throat> so uh, I'm going to say touch program one. And because I'm in the my Python file, I don't my Python folder. I don't have to give paths. I'm just going to create them in here. Program one dot py touch uh, program two dot py. How can I go faster? Hit the up arrow. Come back. Backspace three, program three, <coughs> program four, program five. Okay. Now, if I do an ls, I've got program one, program two. All right. So those are empty, uh, empty files. Now, <coughs> I want to go to my text. What's the easiest way to get there from here? I could say change directory. That would be up one dot dot slash my text files. ls, there's nothing in it. So I'm going to touch again. Okay. I'm going to say dogs.txt. I'm going to touch cats.txt. I'm going to touch <coughs> birds.txt. I'm going to touch cars.txt. And you can imagine we could go in and edit these and give content to them. But for right now, we're just going to be creating uh, files touch friends.txt, touch houses.txt. Okay, <clears throat> so now L oops, ls and there they all are. Let's go back up to our home directory. What's the best way to get to our home directory? We could just say squiggly. Squiggly will take us there. Now we go ls. You can see that we have our two new folders, my Python and my text. If we do PWD, where are we? We are in fact in slash home slash pi. <clears throat> okay, now how could I find something? Well, we use the find command. Find. The first thing you have to do in find is you have to tell it where to search from. Let's say I want to search from my current directory. So that will include the directory or folder that I'm in and everything beneath it. So start from where I am now. Where I am now, remember from the earlier lesson, dot. That just references the current working folder. <clears throat> so that is where, and now i got to say dash name. Now I'm going to search for what name? I'm going to search for cats.txt and then enter. And look at that. It finds it. Where is it? It's in dot my present directory slash 
my text slash cats.txt. So it found it. What if I said find dot minus name and I wanted to find program one dot py. <coughs> Boom. It finds it in my program slash program one dot pi. Okay. So you can see that this find is pretty powerful. What if I wanted to find all of my text files? Well, I would say find, start from where I am now, and then go minus name, and then use the wildcard, anything, star, wildcard, star, dot, txt, should find all the text files. All right? And look at this. I found birds, friends, cars, cats, houses, and dogs. Okay? Let's see where I am. LS. Okay, so that found all of my text files. What if I wanted to find all of my Python files? Well, I would say find from my current directory, minus name, and then I want to put star.py, like that. And this should find all my Python games. I mean all my Python programs. Now look at this. It found program 1, program 2, 3, 4, 5 that we created. 1, 2, 3. This is interesting why it went 5, 4. Okay, but it also found all the Python programs which come with the operating system under python.games. So yes, it found the things that I created, but it also found the Python files in, uh, in the uh, Python games folder. All right, uh, so let's see, how did we do that? We did find dot. We could also do it this way. We could say like, like watch this, let's go somewhere else. Okay. Let's do change directory to the root. Okay, ls, I'm now in the root directory. Now what if I wanted to f search in my home folder, my slash home slash pi, that's my folder, search there for all the Python programs. Well, <clears throat> I would have to do find. Now where? I can't put dot because I'm in the root. I don't want to search in the root. I want to search where? Down in that slash home slash pi. How do I get the shortcut to the slash home slash pi? the squiggly. Okay, so we go squiggly and then minus name and then I want to search on in quotes <clears throat> star dot pi like that. And boom, I get it just like that. Okay, so you can see that find is very powerful particularly if you use it in combination with the uh, particularly if you use it in combination with the uh, uh, with the uh, uh, wildcard. Okay. Now, what if I just said find? <clears throat> Let's go back to my home directory. So I'm going to change directories to the squiggly ls. Okay, there I am. What if I said find from my current directory and then I said uh, <clears throat> minus name and then I said find everything star. Just find everything. The wildcard is everything. So I just find everything. So I know that I've got just a few files here and a few files here. It should be a fairly short list, right? No, it's an enormous list. Where are all these files? I don't see them. What is this? Find must not work. It looks like a thousand files. What are all those files? Let me tell you. Those are hidden files. Those are files that you don't see. There are all types of files that you normally don't see. So like, let me just look in this directory. If I say ls, you can see these things. What if I said ls minus a, which is show all, show the hidden file. You can see that there's a bunch of stuff here that you didn't know that was there. If you have a file name of nothing dot something, then that doesn't show up. That's a hidden file. And what you can see is, is that there's a lot of hidden files there. So if I say find, <coughs> find uh, in my present directory minus name star, that finds everything, including the hidden files, including the hidden files. So that's kind of confusing if you ever end up doing something like that. Know that there's a lot of a, a lot of hidden files. Okay, so find is very powerful. Let me just show you, like, let's say I wanted to search on my whole hard drive, my whole SD card for all of the text files, all the .txt files. So now you might think that you would say find, and then where do you go? We said we want to go to root minus name and then go star.txt like that. So find in root in everywhere everything that's a .txt file. 
<clears throat> well, if you do this, look at all this. I'm getting permission denied, permission denied, permission denied, permission denied. Why is that? Because you don't have permission to do what you want to in the root folder. If you want to do that, you have to give a super user command. So how do we give a super user command? Sudo. <clears throat> Sudo says, I'm going to be the super user. It's kind of silly. I say, I want to look and do a list. It says, you can't do a list because you're not super user. So you say, okay, sudo, I'm a super user. And then it lets you do it. So it's like, why bother? Okay, sudo, loot, sudo, and then find where root, <clears throat> what I want to find, name. Okay, what I want to find, uh, star.txt. So I'm going to find all of the text files on my entire thing. Okay. It takes a little while. But I'm not getting any permission denied, and it's given me a nice big list of all of the text files on the whole SD card. What if I wanted to save that? Well, I would take that and I would pipe it to my text files.txt. <coughs> so that's going to take all that and that's going to put it in a text file. Okay, and you see now it's thinking, 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 and it's done, but it didn't put anything on here. But now if I look at ls, you can see I have a file called my text files. If I cat my <coughs> text files.txt, you can see boom, 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 boom. There are all those files. So you see we can sort of pipe that into a file if we want to. Find is a very powerful, uh, a very powerful command, especially when you start getting a lot of things. Well, this is also good. Like let's imagine that I want to, I want to find. Uh, let's say where is my Python? Where is Python run from? So I can go find. I'm going to want to search from the root. If I want to search from the root, I should do sudo. Look in the root. <clears throat> find everything named with a name star I'm just going to put uh, Python and then anything that, that looks like that <clears throat> that should work sudo oh I forgot to put find in there so sudo find like that okay so this sort of shows me all the different places that I have files that have the word Python in them. Okay, and that is actually pretty uh, useful. Also useful if you pipe that to a file. Okay, find is very powerful. This has been lesson number 15. Hopefully you like this. Give us a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to the channel. And we will be back very shortly with lesson number 16. Tune in. Talk to you guys later.